Hi, this is Nisad Kumar with a review of my Samsung Galaxy S3 running the Blackstar ROM. The last week I used to have the Omega ROM but I have changed to Blackstar ROM because it is kind of very small ROM running only 300 MB by the Blackstar Omega ROM at around 600-685 MB. This is the version 3 with Jelly Bean animation. When I had installed the Resurrection ROM on my Samsung Galaxy S2, it was actually faster performing than the stock Samsung Galaxy S3. Would you believe that? S2 running faster than stock Samsung Galaxy S3. So, but as you can see, this ROM has wanted back. This ROM is faster than Samsung Galaxy S2 Resurrection ROM. But it's just only by just, must say. Hats off to them. So you can see, absolutely no lag. Anybody, anybody using S3 will definitely know, notice that is much more smooth and transition transitions. Uh, I can understand why can't Samsung employ one of these people, the makers of this ROM or maybe the resurrection ROM, building ROM for their phone. It's much much more fluid, as fluid as iOS and much faster to use than Samsung. This is a pretty stripped down ROM. I can show you what all it has. Yeah, check it out. I'm running version 2.3. It has it based on stock LP6 ROM. Sorry about the blur. It deleted all the Samsung boot. It's, it has the HX camera by HyperX. It's got Jelly Bean sound, animation, Play Store has been updated. It's blacked out theme. The ROM size is just 300 MB. Um, okay, and you can see the 15 toggles it has. And it has CRT animation. This is the CRT animation. It's on. You can see the water effects on the screen. Nice wallpaper. You can see no chat on icon has been removed altogether. So you get a fast shortcut to the phone or to the camera. The camera is not an original camera. Uh, not just a video shot about my Samsung Galaxy S2. Wait, uh, go back to the photo mode. See, normally you take photos in this like this. You can see the speed of the photos. Or in this you can take the photo like this. Pressing the button over here. Or up button focus and then take photos that's nice you know when you have a big camera phone it's better off to take photos from buttons iphone has it windows has it and samsung i don't know i can samsung give it okay now back to my rom you can see chrome browser i use the chrome browser because i showed you the interface of it the cards is brilliant um it runs the apex launcher default but it has the sony x launcher but i'm not using it you can see the speed Absolutely no lag. I know people say iPhone is faster than not. If iPhone is faster than this, I don't know. Then something people are mad. Either the video is edited fast or people makes no sense. Okay, just about it. Um, let's see. Go back. You can see it's a standard ICS transition. I've just changed the effects of it in Apple's launcher. Most of the bloatware are gone. Just some of the apps which I've installed. It uh, it doesn't have the Samsung music. It has the Jelly Bean music. You can see it's pretty fluid. Uh, I can show you the notifications and notification bar. You can see. Wi-Fi. Unlike the Samsung one that looks like gingerbread and keeps moving like this. This one is just stable. Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, GPS, flashlight, the hotspot, brightness, airplane mode. It has brightness. Samsung should have launched it, but now it seems that Samsung Galaxy S3 has got an update which has a bar like you get an ICS. Rotation, sync, screen timeout, which has set for the default 15 seconds. The lock screen, reboot, shutdown. And you can go to your settings from here. Okay. Blackstar ROM is, will shut down, but cancel. Um, what do I want to show you? Yeah. This one you can see the effects. Uh, you click on the song, click on this. Wait, uh, what I want to show you here. Okay, now the standard Samsung. You can see the standard ICS multitasking. Like I showed my resurrection on was like WebOS. This one is standard Google. Okay, play a song. Let me just go back to the stream again. 
Maybe here I'll show the effects, the 3D effects. It's pretty fluid. I don't know why something had to put their own stock on. Though in the S1 was the best that had a disc effect. I don't know why they removed it. Okay, and it comes with super user, it comes with Google search, it comes with the Play Store. Um, I installed Go Weather, Go SMS Pro, which I used a lot. Um, and you can see it comes with the camera with that's mod. Um, and let's see. Press this. You can use the live wallpaper. It doesn't come with much live wallpapers, just two or three. Like I said, this ROM is totally 300 MB. You can see it's very, very, very smooth ROM. Now makes me feel proud that I bought this phone. One thing I love about Android phones, you can completely modify it and use it however you want. When installing this ROM is very pretty, very smooth. You can see this is the Go SMS. The first transition is very slow. When you swipe across the screen, there's a slight delay, and once you get, then it's very fast. Mm, that is just about it. this. Is the contacts app. Shyag, that's one of my best friends. Um, Temple Run. Then the new game called Amazing Alex. Very weird game. Still trying to figure out how this, what is this game actually about. It's very difficult to play with this. Let me see. I don't understand some of these levels. It says Amazing Alex. It seems like people are saying that this will be the next hit game. I don't know what you will do. You will bring this board over here. Change the direction of it. Put the board here. Change the direction of that. And I don't know. Got it. And then, yeah, hit this button. It's just about it. Something you have to do here. I don't understand. Just want to show you this game. Okay. And the Apex. You can go to Apex settings. Wallpaper, theme settings, you can change the theme. Jelly Bean HD, click apply, so it changes into a Jelly Bean. And another one, Apex, Apex settings, you can change the effects, the dock effects, everything. You can completely customize it. <clears throat> Is there anything else I want to show you? Not about it, nothing else. Just want to show you a brief overview of Samsung Galaxy S3. And I have a cover for case for it now because it's already fallen a few times. And there's few cracks and all. This is my case. I bought it from eBay. I get an added benefit of an extra plastic cover. Here it is. You can see it's got a cutout for camera, the speaker, the grill. And it's got a magnet strip over here. It's got a magnet strip over here. And you can use it like this. So if it falls. You get extra protection over here. There's a side gap over here, and and I like bought it because the stand. It's got a beautiful stand. Ta -da. And one thing I didn't understand why there is no rotation. Till today, you can't understand. Go launcher has it. Many other launchers have it. Why ICS never got that? And this is a very good option if you want to watch a video. Let's see, Nexus 7 review. Mm, sorry, that's my review. Mm, let's see, the Nexus 7 review. You can put like this, like this. That's my stand. That's just about it, my Samsung Galaxy S3 now running the Flagstar ROM version 3. One thing's for sure, I'll keep changing all my ROMs all the time. Let's see, go down. About device Android 4.0 Black Star ROM version 3. I'll put the link for this in my video. Till then, thank you everyone. Good night. Shubhra 3. See you guys soon. Bye bye.